Okay. Hi, my name is John. I'm K1JEB, and the uh, I'm chairman of the Ham Radio. I mean the Envark Field Day, and Field Day will be on uh, Saturday the 22nd and the 23rd, and it officially starts at two o'clock on Saturday to two o'clock on Sunday. Um, but before I get started, I want to give great credit to people who helped me out because uh, I became um, German and I'd never done this before. So uh, I want to give great credit to Bruce, John, Elliot, yeah, Jim, Les, and Skip, K1NKAR. And uh, I'm very grateful for you guys helping. Um, I went down to, I, I, I got reserved the field. That's no problem. The, the town was very nice about it. Uh, Rod uh, is a mower. He mowed the place up and it looks pretty good. It's, um, look, you know, I went out there with him and I pointed out the stuff when we went there and looked at it and made sure that it was cut. And I asked him to go a little further out because you like to throw over the tree and then it's all poison ivy back there. So we, we cleared that out. Um, again, I want to give thanks to Paula Teresi and Rob Rand for, for their part and Mike for the porta potty. And it is out there. It went out there just today. So that's good. Um, okay. There will be a Saturday morning breakfast over at uh, um, Fanny's Diner. And that, I don't know if you guys want to write this stuff down, but it's over in 170 Main Street in Pepperell. Which, which diner? Fanny's. Right. Fanny's which Diner. Fanny's? Fanny. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, and again, that's on 170 Main Street. And then at, at 8.30, that 7.30 is the breakfast. And then after breakfast, we'll all progress over to Heald Street Orchard. And that is 109 Heald Street. And we'll start there at 8.30. So... Um, so, and after we get there, we'll set up and, uh, the setup kicks off until two o'clock when the field day actually starts. There'll be two, two HF stations. Bruce is going to have one and John is going to have one. And, uh, they will run CW and single sideband on HF. And then Les and one SV is going to, uh, run the VHF and UHF stations. And somebody else is going to help you, right? Elliot? Uh, skip. Skip. And then Elliot's going to run the GOTA station. And uh, uh, that's W1MJ. Um, John, what does GOTA stand for? Oh, get on the air. That's for uh, getting the public who come up and visit the site. They get a chance to get on the air. And uh, I'll bring some... Um, a family radio so they can practice first before they get on the air and then we'll have people if, if enough people show up especially the boy scouts and have them had a chance to just talk on the family radio and get the procedure down and then they, they can progress over to a real radio so okay the one thing i want to stress is it's going to be hot so we're going to have to use a buddy system to watch out for each other for any signs of stress so um and drink a lot of water a lot of fluids and john's going to bring two coolers with uh what are going to put in it gatorade lemonade. lemonade okay so um so if anybody feels any any weirdness Make sure you let somebody know. Just don't let it go. And also because you're always so caught up into what you're doing, you, do, you forget to drink water or any fluids, and you might get sick in the heat. So just be careful. Just drink a lot of water. 
Alright. All right, um, I want to make sure that uh, I want to emphasize that field day is going to be a fun event. I want you guys to have fun. Um, and uh, if there's anything that comes up that you feel is an issue, just don't bottle, bottle, you know, bottle it inside of you. Just make sure you tell somebody, me or anybody, and we can work it out. What's the address for the field day plan? It's uh, on my GPS, it's 109 uh, Heald Street. And when you pull up, you'll see an iron gate on your uh, left hand side if you're going west. And there'll be, I guess, some pe people are bringing signs. Um, who has the signs? Do you have the signs? I know I had them before last year. Because I try to find anybody reference with signs. I all I've, that so. Probably do. Okay, I have to hunt for that. Okay, because it has to have some kind of marker. But um, hang on. Okay, um, each station captain shall be responsible for the volunteer manpower, equipment, operation, and scheduling and safety of his station. I guess you guys already know what you're doing, so but I, I have to mention it. Each station captain shall be responsible for the station equipment and quarters. So you have a tent, and you have a tent, and everything. Okay. Um, so far, I have uh, Leo Hunter, uh, K1LK. He's going to bring a 10 by 20 top. I guess that's what we we'll eat on. Uh, two uh, six-foot tables, 12 chairs, uh, 10 by 10 pop-up canopy. That's what he's bringing. And Jim Hain brings a uh, diesel engine generator. generator. Power networking. Yep. Power I got that all here. Um, and also all the extension cables. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you have biofuel uh, diesel? We no. Have here okay. Can't find a for oil anymore. All right. So you, uh, the two coolers. Cookies, um, station equipment, tent. Uh, Charlie Penn Demos. Charlie. Uh, okay. I talked to you the other day. Muffins, snacks, sausages, and crock pot. Charlie's sausages are famous. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you bring the cream. Yep. yep. Chips, snacks, uh, muffins, cream cheese, uh, and you'll be taking the garbage in your truck. <laughs> okay. Uh, That's an important job. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, Skip Young will bring some VHF and UHF gear. Uh, yeah, he's and a, a tent hours. and mast. Okay. Bruce, you're bringing your station equipment and a tent. Uh, I'll bring a, uh, a Keurig coffee maker and K-cups. So uh, a two-burner stove if we need it. I'll bring it. If we don't use it, that's fine. I'll bring a Comet antenna mast. If you don't need it, that's fine. Um, I'll bring some extra lanterns, flashlights. Uh, I'll bring a cordless weed, weed whacker. Uh, if there's any situation where we have to whack some more. We fine. I'll bring that, especially if you have your tents. Uh, I'll bring my Comet antenna. Um, I have a polar a power pack solar panel. I'll bring that if we can use it. Great. Probably with your satellite, you can hook it up. <coughs> I don't know. Hmm? Yeah, that's a really big item. I, I missed that one. I would suggest that each of you bring your own favorite bug repellent. So anyway. Well, I got a long list. I'm not going to go over everything. Uh, first aid kits. I would highly recommend you guys bring that. Things happen. Do you, do you 
Did you get a volunteer for safety officer? And nobody volunteered. You're going to be the safety yeah. officer. Okay. I mean, make a note of that. Okay. Hmm? Um, I'll bring two panels. I just bring them. Just okay. uh, don't use it. That's fine. Uh, I know you guys got a lot of stuff covered, but a little backup could be. Right. Uh, Tim K uh, Chase will bring the Boy Scouts, and uh, they'll probably go with the go to, the go to station. Elliot's not here. Yeah. So they're doing a uh, uh, the second half of the Radio Nerd Badge, the on the air portion. Of the radio okay. He's got Boy Scouts that are going through the program. So. Um. Okay, I did send out four press releases to uh, <coughs> newspapers. Uh, I did the um, Pepperell Facebook page, the town page, and I did our uh, club page for Facebook, so an announcement. Uh, and again, you guys have fun.